Hi, welcome back. This is Lesson 49. We're going to talk today about conditional formatting and color scales. And I've got two of them set up here in my sample data. You see I've got a variety of uh, payers here. And I'm looking at three different treatments and I want to compare my reimbursement by carrier over these treatments to see where uh, my better reimbursement is. So what I've done, if you look at this treatment 2 column I've got highlighted here, what I'm looking for is show me where I'm doing well and where I'm not doing well or I'm getting the most reimbursement and the least. So here's Cigna and Humana in this random data where I've highlighted those green because those are the best and then we go down into a little kind of a yellow green here at Blue Cross and then yellow at Well Point and then my lowest three are, um, I've hi are these three that I've highlighted in red. And the way to do that is to select, well, let's, let's do it in, in a treatment one, and, and we'll, we'll format these the same way. So I highlight the area that I want to format, conditional formatting, color scales. There's a couple of different scales here where you can do, do you want red, yellow, green, or you can do blue, yellow, red, red, yellow, blue. These are red and yellow and some orange in between. Let's do the green, yellow, red. That's what I've done the other two with. And you can see as soon as I highlight over it, it's showing what it's going to look like. So we'll click that. And now what I've got is the lowest are in red, the highest are in green, and the middle is kind of in yellow or yellow green or yellow red, kind of an orange thing like that and in between. And again, like we did last time, let's just go briefly behind the scenes and show you what Excel is doing if you want to customize some things. Conditional formatting and then highlight the cells that you want and then you click Manage Rules. And for Manage Rules, what you do is you click Edit Rule and it says what format style do you want. If you wanted you could do a two color scale and go between say red and green or you know you can go between red and blue or red and white or you can pick any colors you want here. The three color scale what it does is it says show me the lowest value and then the 50th percentile and the highest value and it lets you choose three colors to go in between. So you could do three different say um, shades of purple if you wanted or blue or whatever or you could do red, yellow, green. It's completely customizable. The other thing you can do is you can choose uh, a number. If The reason I've left it values here is because my numbers are going to vary over time. I don't have a set low and a set high. If you had something where you did have something where you know this is always going to be the highest, it's going to be a perfect 10 or whatever, and this is going to be the lowest, you can do a number or a percent. You can put a formula in here or a percentile. And you can do that for the minimum, the midpoint, and the maximum and completely customize how these things are formatted. And then at the bottom it will show you, okay, Here's red kind of transitioning to orange to yellow to kind of a yellow green all the way up to green. And um, that's the way the formatting is going to work. So that's the way color scales work. There's a variety of ways you can customize and uh, make data really easy to highlight that way. Stay tuned next time. We'll go through icon sets. There's a whole bunch of things to t uh, or a whole bunch of different examples to look at there. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.